Tampa to yep. board the Margaritaville Islander. Right, Margaritaville at sea. So we've stayed at some Margaritaville brand hotels before. We've stayed at one in Orlando. We've checked out one at Anna Marie Island and over in Hollywood, I think it is, right? So this is the first time we're going on a cruise with this brand. So I'm kind of excited about it. Yeah, we can't wait to see what it's um, what they're like. So this is their new ship, but it's actually not a brand new ship. It's kind of like a remodel. So if you bought a house and you bought a house like we just did from the year 2000 and now you want to fix it up, then you remodel it. Well, that's what they did to the ship. So I think the whole thing's been gutted and it's brand new, so that'll be um, interesting to see how, how that works out compared to the brand new ships we've been on. Okay, so... What are we doing? So our schedule for this trip is right now we're driving from Clearwater over to Tampa, which is only about 30 minutes to get to the port to get on the boat. So we're getting on the boat at the Tampa port. From there, we have a day at sea. So day one is a day at sea. Day two, we're going to Cozumel. And what are we doing in Cozumel? Cozumel, we are doing speed boats. Yeah, and snorkeling. Cozumel has the best snorkeling. Just just beautiful waters. Yeah, and one then, of my favorite places yeah. to snorkel. And then on day then we're that's day three. Then day four we're gonna be in Progreso, Mexico. Never been there. I've never been there either. The new one. Yeah. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. Um, it has a town there called Merida. I think it's said that way. I'm not sure. You can let me know. Um, that's nearby. That's an old colonial town. And I've seen it on like different TV shows and stuff. It looks really cool. I'm not sure we're going to see it. What are we doing there? Uh, there we are doing uh, tubing and then kind of a water cave kind of thing. Yeah. First we're going to the Mayan ruins. And then we're going to do tubing and a water cave. So that might be interesting. At least it'll be cool because it is July and it's going to be hot everywhere. So we picked a couple of water things to do at the excursion. So that's our day four. Then day five. At sea. Head yeah. home. Day five we're heading home and then we're back in Tampa. So it's only a five night cruise. It's a quick cruise, which, um, so it'll be a fast one for us. If you're driving here, then it's pretty well marked. When you're on the on Highway 4, they actually have a sign that says cruise ship. So you're going to follow that down to the cruise terminal. And here is what it's going to look like and where you're going to end up parking. Oh, this is Ebor City, which is a kind of a neat little place. Oh, yeah. Tampa. Yeah, that's a good point. You come through Ebor City. Ebor City in Tampa is um, kind of um, it's where they did the old the old cigar Do manufacturing cigar. back in the day so um, when people came here from other countries um, and they were making cigars for the US this was a big cigar manufacturing location and they came from everywhere there's the Columbia over there because and that's been here since the 1920s I think which is a great restaurant by the way yeah great restaurant um, if you come there you need to get the well the, there's so the much 19... the 1928 salad it's one of my favorites um, and then this area is a big nightlife area in Tampa. So, Ebor City, Y B O R, Ebor, Y B O R. Um, and it gets quite lively. Little shops, but lots of bars down here. So, this is our first time coming to Tampa in 15 years for a cruise. So, everybody gets to get lost with us and <laughs> see how we do. <laughs> 
Tampa, so next it's taking us down to Channel Side Drive. So Channel Side Drive in Tampa is a great little area where they have different restaurants and um, it's a walkable sort of outdoor place. It's a, it's a place where, kind of a destination that people come to hang out either during the day or at night and it's called Channel Side Drive and that is where the cruise port is. So we're heading right down there. But one of the things they have in Tampa is actually valet parking and that's what this guy is doing here. So if you didn't want to mess with your luggage and drag it all over there and handle everything, then the way to do it, you just go that way. Parking this way? Just Pretty easy, small terminal, not like other big places. Oh, it's open. It's not covered. That's why there's no garage, oh, Paul. It's just a go. flat, flat parking. Hey, there. There's our car. Well, maybe you're free. Maybe you do. Well, I could have prepaid, by the way. So they, I was given a link to prepay. Maybe you do. But I didn't do it because I thought we just pay when we leave. But it looks like maybe they have you prepay. <laughs> Thank you. Great. So parking's about $15 a day. That's fine. All right. Anywhere you like, Donner, okay? Appreciate Great. it, guys. Thank have you. Trip. $80 for this trip. Yeah, eighty dollars parking for this trip. About fifteen, sixteen a day, I guess. Sixteen a day, I guess it'd be. Um, Looks like that's where we go in. So I'm gonna park all right here. Okay. And there's your parking, and there's the boat. So we made it. And just like that, we arrived at Terminal Six in Tampa. The Margaritaville Islander is ready and waiting to take us on an unforgettable adventure. The drive was a breeze and parking was right across the street. Super convenient if you're driving in like we did. Or if you want even more convenience and a little less walking, they do have valet parking. And if you're flying in, it's just a 20 minute Uber ride from the airport. Easy peasy. We're so excited to start this cruise and we can't wait to share the journey with you. There's so much ahead. Once you get through security, then you head down to your check-in desk. And they use flip-flops to tell you where you're going. Welcome to the Margaret. <laughs> Welcome to the Margaritaville's at Sea Islander. Next up, we'll sail under the iconic Skyway Bridge. Then we'll be diving into everything the Margaritaville Islander has to offer. From mouth-watering meals. To soaking up the sun by the pool. And of course, those breathtaking ocean views. You definitely won't want to miss this. Margaritaville doesn't always get the best reviews. Is it really that bad? Find out. See you in the next video.